Hello and welcome back. So um, I did a video on how to create a nice auto hockey script for Mountain Blade uh, eight years ago. <clears throat> it's gotten a lot of views and feedback. People have been commenting about it working and not. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of a better job today, give you the links to download the correct program give you a copy paste of the script, uh, download link of the script itself, uh, and step you through how to tweak it so that you can figure out how you want to do your own things as well. Um, currently, this is the script right here. So uh, I'll step you through basically everything that is needed to make this work because of the kind of executable that Mountain Blade is. Um, a lot of the basic commands in AutoHotKey uh, such as sending, if you would type, for example, send X, uh, it just won't work um, because of the kind of executable and direct X that uh, Mountain Blade is. So that's why this workaround was needed uh, to make that work. So um, basically, uh, no environment here. I put some comments here as well. Uh, send mode input putting the, um, the mode for send command, uh, the working directory. Uh, so if there's any pathing issues, however you run this script, um, you can uncomment this line right here if you wish. And what this will do is it will check if the mountain blade window is active. If not, it will suspend the script. So well, not suspended, but this script will not work without the Mountain Blade window being active. So that's one option that you can use if you wish, and I put it here um, if you want that. Put a pause key here, so you can click the pause key on your computer, uh, on your keyboard, to suspend the script. So if for any reason you want to stop the script from running, and you want these hotkeys to not trigger anymore, then just hit the pause key. You can change this out with any other uh, key that you would like to use as well. Uh, the numpad dot is the des delete or period key on your number pad. If you don't have that on your keyboard, if you're using like a gaming keyboard or something, then just change this with another hotkey. For example, you can just put like P here if you want. Um, if you do change the hotkey though, you will have to change uh, the key state uh, if statement here. The P in this means pressed. It's not the uh, hotkey P. It is a tag to determine whether or not this hotkey is currently being pressed down. Uh, so basically here, if not get key state numpad dot press down. So if it's not pressed down, the script breaks. So basically every time it loops through this, when you're holding down the numpad, uh, dot key, it will check if it's not pressed down, which means that if you stop pressing it down, it will break the script. If it is, if you continue to hold it down, it will continue to click uh, on 20 millisecond uh, intervals. So it will click and then sleep for 20 milliseconds, and it'll be, you know, maybe 25 milliseconds because it needs to loop through this. Um, so that is just a fast clicking. Uh, script. If you need to click a lot of units over to a, uh, a garrison or something like that. Control X is for uh, ranking up units or for money. Um, let's see, what do I use this one for? Uh, I can't remember. I guess I'm not using that for anything right now. Um, okay, yeah, so I just put that as a placeholder if I wanted to use that later. Control F4. Uh, it goes through a loop on uh, control uh, F4 here on numpad sub. So that's the um, subdivision hotkey. This is the multiplication hotkey. This is the addition hotkey. So it's those, uh, or wait, no, this is the subtract hotkey. Sorry about that. So the subtract hotkey and the plus hotkey, the addition hotkey, are being used here. Um, control X for the addition hotkey. Uh, and control F4 for the uh, minus or subtract hotkey right above it. 
Now you can change these for any other hotkeys that you want, as I said before. And again, it's just going through and it keeps on running the script um, over and over again until you release the hotkey. That's how it works. And again, with the way that Mountain Blade is built, you have to um, send these specific down and up keys for it to work. So here it is sending control down and then hitting F4, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then it will do control up. But if you're still holding onto the hotkey when it loops around again, it will just put uh, control down again and then do that another number of times there. So that's basically the script. I will make a download link for this script on a paste bin uh, for this video so that you can just copy and paste it. Make it an AHK file. So for example, I have here um, AHK, Mountain Blade A and AHK, and that's basically the script that I use for Mountain Blade. And to show you how it works in game, um, let's just go with, uh, that was my latest. This is the A World of Fire and Ice uh, mod which always starts upside down on the map for some reason. Uh, if you haven't seen this mod, pretty great mod. If you like Game of Thrones, definitely a big fan of myself. Um, it's got White Walker events and everything like that. But let's jump to just demoing um, the, uh, the script. So in, um, in your inventory, you can just hit plus. Wait a second. It's not working now. I didn't run the script, that's why. Uh, let's go back there. That. So now, oh, now my stream is not working. There, there we go. So in inventory screen, I'm just holding down the plus key on the, uh, on the keypad and I let it go and it stops. Um, I want to go and level up my party and click on one of these water dancers. And as you can see, it is ranking up water dancers. I uh, want to level those up. Now, for example, clicking, if I want to say, go to Casterly Rock over here, um, I'm starting to conquer the Lannisters. So manage garrison. And let's say I want to bring 200 spies over but I don't want to click 200 times. Well, that's pretty easy then. I just hit the decimal dot key and that'll pushing in a little bit like this until I get it down to something reasonable and then I can just click 10 times myself. So that's basically all you need in Mountain Blade. Um, and uh, leveling up as far as your character, wait, there we go. So if you want to level up your character, that's also a control X action, which is the plus key again. Uh, so you can just do like that. Of course, you can also import export your character and just edit the text file, uh, which is a lot easier to do. So um, as you can see, I've beefed my character up. Well, I've, I played this game until about level 20 and then uh, just decided, okay, time to beef up all my companions when I finally was able to uh, get all those. So, play how you like. Um, if you like this, give it a like. Uh, the other video had quite a few views over the years and people were commenting, so hopefully this uh, solves your problem. And uh, thank you very much.